Yo team, what is up? This is gaining phase week one, I suppose. Although we've been the gaining phase, I just had not changed the, the name of my uh, vlog to that. But, um, oh, and this is my new, my daylight blockers. So obviously I mentioned I'd be getting the, a headache from working in front of a laptop for 14 hours, 12 hours a day. It's not going to be that beneficial in the long run. So um, these are uh, daylight blockers, which I'm just going to wear pretty much the whole time unless I am training um, and just to see how that goes and hopefully that's beneficial and it helps um, I will keep you posted obviously these are a lot cool on Vaughn's Vaughn's got the big stupid orange uh, blue light blockers which make you look like a dick you look like you're going skiing these are a bit more stylish cost me 35 quid to get imported as well bastard thanks for that Carl um, the, the week in general it's one of those where I haven't really, nothing exciting's happened. I've just plodded along. I've just ticked the boxes um, and just got the work done. It is the strongest I have been. So some numbers in my logbook are w way up on where I was at the start of the year when I was six kilos heavier. So I beat my hack squat, I beat my leg press, um, leg extension. At body academy obviously upper body is getting trained at a different gym but the movements i am doing are definitely the the heaviest numbers i've touched so obviously we know that more load in the long run is going to equate to more tissue so just working with that and the intensity i'm training that is going to like be very beneficial um going forward and the lat injury is feeling a little bit better um, I'm waiting to get a massage just now. The girl who normally does my massages is away this week, so I'm going to someone else to know, um, which she shouldn't really do, by the way, but I, I need uh, the massage work done. And that's that seems to be going the right direction. Um, fingers crossed. The the um, recovery is in a very good spot. So remember, I was on a deload before Belfast, and then um, that seems to be back to where it needs to be. The, well, the other thing as well is, so obviously I was in Belfast, came back, weight was up a kilo, which isn't really that bad considering how much French toast we ate and all the Guinness. But the check-in this week, my weight's held at just where it was when I came back, so that's not an issue. I'm now eight kilos up from my shoot, but obviously what, what, what you've got to look at is uh, I was about... Like a kilo of that pretty much jumped back on straight away just from obviously diuretics, etc. But conditions still holding okay. But this week when I checked in, so I check in on a Saturday morning, Robin took the photos and I was not best pleased with how my condition was looking. I just felt a little bit fluffier. Um, just one of those weird ones where your brain just, there's like a time bomb in your brain that just goes and then you freak out. So I was super pissed off at that um, when like, when I checked in. But thankfully, I check in on a Saturday morning and then I... Well, I take my photos on a Saturday morning and I go train legs straight after it. So I was pissed off, but I just used that as energy to go train. And then the, the thing is about it, when I came back later on and I had to upload the, the photos to send to Cal, I wasn't pissed off at all. There was just something in that, that moment when I wasn't looking at it from a logical perspective, just was not working well and freaked me out. And that's where you've got to look at stuff from the bigger picture. The amount of times that clients freak out, mates freak out, they look at something, but when we actually break that down and look at it from a, a bigger range, um, you're not going to be as pissed off. And the big thing for me is I've got to remember that I'm 89 kilos just now. Last time I was 89 kilos, I looked like a sack of shit. So... I'm still holding condition, my strength's way up, I'm training less um, days as well, now I'm only training five, I'm only training four, and that, so there's so many like positives to take from that, and I think that is something that we always have to look at, and look at, and why it's so important with check-ins, because I lined up the photos from last time I was 89 to now, and it's night and day difference, so obviously just a, a, a bad like week there, or sorry, bad um, day when I checked in, but apart from that, it's going solid, um, it's a rest day today, so I said we get a massage and then I'm getting ready for a pool session tomorrow which has been flying, so I will take some videos of that and catch up with you later. Now I'm going to drink my McDonald's coffee because I was early from a massage and it's right beside um, the place that I get massaged. So back at Body Academy today for more 
normally today is pool, so my second session of the week is normally pool, and then lower is later in the week. But me and that big donkey Vaughn are going to start training lower again on Tuesdays. Um, just because obviously progression's a little bit better training together, we know each other um, like and how to push each other. So that's going to be real good. So start, I'll be starting from next week. So I've just sw switched my sessions around a little bit. Um, today's a bit of a, a later workout. Normally I train, start training about 10, just coming up for 11 just now. Uh, just because I got all my check-ins done and stuff first. Wednesday's normally a rest day for me because it's a busy day with check-ins, but the way my weeks ran, I just need to run it this way. Um, obviously, I'm just waiting to warm up, go through everything like that. I will get some training footage on the hack squat and stuff because I'm going for a PB, so we'll see what that's like. Um, especially not with a spot, might not be ideal, but the strength and training in the last two weeks has been fucking brilliant and obviously that'll be a little bit down to the fact body weight's up, more food in the system and just now the fatigue's lower so we're really really starting to push but um, if anyone lives around this area by the way come to Body Academy especially if you want to chain legs because it's fucking sick um, the main thing I'm looking to do in today's session is what I'd found was happening was on a couple of movements. I was pushing the load, but my actual execution was going a little bit. So I'm just going to hold the weights on a few things and just make sure the execution is perfect. There's a couple of things though, like that a hammy curl and stuff like that, where I'm going to go up a weight. Um, so just see what that's like and just try and like reset baselines and stuff like that and focus on really trying to progress because. I've uh, pulled in uh, one leg session a week for the last like, what, eight weeks and my legs are growing, whereas normally I'd always do two. So it goes to show you that having good volume rather than just loads of volume always works better. I'm just going to do a walkthrough of the movements here just because I got a lot of good feedback the other week from it. So starting off with the adductors. Now, this is something that we're going to prioritise in my off-season because if you look at my photos, my quads are very developed but the upper area around the adductor region needs a fair bit of work. So it's something I think that people leave out a lot or when they do it, they half-ass it and they just kind of flat back and forward. So this for me was up um, five kilos but I hit two reps down. So what I'm doing is, you can see here I'm setting up, getting in zone. These are just hard. These with load are never going to be that easy because you are going into a very, very weak position. What I'm trying to do with all the reps is keep them standardized. So same range, everything like that. I'm trying to make sure that in the middle, I do pause slightly um, and I'm really driving myself down into the seat as hard as I can. I fail at three different failure points here. So in the middle, once I hit failure, then I'll fail a little bit wider and then from there, wider again. But the main thing you're trying to look for here is to keep the same intensity in movements like an adductor or a bicep curl as you would have in something like a hack squat, a barbell row, or a bigger movement like that. That's where you'll see the best results in your physique. Going from there, I am on to the hamstring curl. Now this is an absolutely brilliant hamstring curl. You can lock into it very well. You'll notice I'm putting the seatbelt on here. So this is the full stack. Last week I hit it for an eight, but the reps weren't that tight. So my aim here was to keep everything uniformed and keep the reps as tight as possible throughout. So I hit the same amount. But the main thing that we're looking to do here, I'm pushing myself into the pad, I'm pinning back, and I'm looking to really keep the tempo throughout. So as you start to struggle, what you'll see a lot is people speed up. The aim is to keep everything, whether it's your top weight you've ever done or a back offset, the same. So I'm just thinking about letting my hamstrings lengthen and then when I drive in, really shorten that movement. And if you can use a seatbelt to make it more um, tight or give yourself more stability, do it. Because a lot of seated hamstring curls, you will slide. The other thing you want to look for here, don't shorten the reps as you start to struggle. It's time to hack squat. I am going for a PB today. Or, well, it's the heaviest I've went for this rep range um, without a spot. So we'll see how that goes. Also, what I'll do warming up to my top set is I won't put my knee sleeves on till the one set before my actual top set. So I'll warm up without them, then I'll put them on. I don't know why, it's a little bit psychological, but also I just think that warms me up properly and then I put the support on rather than just having it on the whole time. Excuse the Ebenezer good in the background. 
But yeah, I'm aiming for 130 for six today. So I got 130. Well, I got 140 for four. The last time I done it, but it was shit reps and there was a spot from like number two. So 130 and we're going for six. So we'll see what it's like, but I'll take a fair amount of time before I actually get started. Um, Cause I'm gassed from the warm ups. Now on the big movement, the hack squat. So you can see at the start, well I've already fast forwarded the start, but I'm just listening to my music, I'm thinking about what I'm doing, thinking about the reps I'm aiming for. I didn't have a spot here, but it was a PB on this machine, um, and I think I've definitely got a little bit more load than me next time when me and Vaughn chain and I can get a spot. So as I pick the load, the machine up, I'm looking to just brace as hard as I can. My arms are up there because I find that more comfortable. Look at the tempo I'm aiming for. I'm not on a top set, so I'm just flying into it. We want to load the muscle properly. And if you look at the depth I've got as well, there's a lot of bend through the knee and my ass is below my knees. That's what we want to aim for while keeping our back driving into the pad. I actually flew through the set at the start. It was going pretty smooth. Um, tempo was good. I wasn't struggling too much. And then I hit this uh, rep here which you can see just struggles a little bit. That's when I then reset up here with my hands. I just find that I can get a bit more air in my lungs and I force out one more rep. If I had a spot, I probably would have taken another one, but this rep wasn't that great. So there's no need to go for risky reps. Thank fuck I drive an automatic because I am absolutely fucked after legs. Like actually fucked. Two and a half hours of just me dying, basically. And also, if anyone wants to be my training partner and move weights about for me, I'll give you free coaching. I'm not even joking. I'm too fat to move plates. Productive rest day so far. It is 12 and I have done my cardio, done my steps, done my check-ins, recorded some of the vlog and Myself, Vaughn and Fitch just caught up for breakfast and just a chat about business and how everything's going. So, it has been a real solid week. Um, funnily enough, my weight was actually really dim this morning um, because I missed some calories yesterday just because myself and Robin were busy, um, which you will see next week on the vlog. So I've got a surprise for everyone, so stay tuned for that. Um, it's cool as well, you'll all be excited. Maybe not as excited as Robin, but you'll all be excited. Um, if anyone's got any questions, as usual, fire me a DM. Sorry this is wobbling, I don't have my camera stand. I'm holding it and I'm wobbling down the road because I'm getting a lot of cramp in my shins and my lower back because, you know, it's been happening for weeks now. But um, yeah, as usual, any questions, anything you want to want me to cover drop me a message and have a good fucking weekend even though we can't do anything